Good morning, everyone. Well, I should say good afternoon. It's nearly noon. Sam is back. <laughs> and so we are headed actually to Paige Denim, which I'm super excited about. I actually haven't been to the store here in Nashville. It opened not that long ago. I want to say less than a year. You guys know I love classic pieces and denim is just one of those things that you cannot go wrong with. So needless to say, I'm really excited to peruse the store to see if there's anything that catches my eye. It's also so nice in Nashville, so I just am in good spirits. Today was one of those days where everything, I don't know if you, you can feel this, I spoke to this a little bit on a TikTok once about dressing intuitively but you can almost like feel what you want to wear. <laughs> it sounds a little crazy, but everything just kind of comes together seamlessly and you can make decisions really decisively. And so today was one of those days, so I'm the outfit is simple, but I'm really loving it. I recently, as in last night, painted my nails. We went with red for Red Beast Energy, if you know, you know, because we have the half marathon coming up in just like three days, really. Um, which is crazy to say. I don't think it's actually quite hit me yet, but last the day after tomorrow. Oh, yep, the day after tomorrow. That's three. That's two days. Yeah, it's it's really close. Last Sunday though, I was supposed to do a 10 mile run, and I kind of freaked myself out. I was like, I don't even know if I can run 13.1 miles. I've never done it before. I just on my 10 mile run was feeling really good and was like, okay, let me just go for it. I'm gonna just get 13.1 under my feet so that I know that I can do it and I won't psych myself out come race day. And I felt really great. I hit my pace goals. I don't know if I've mentioned this in a past video, but my goal is to run the half marathon in just under 10 minute miles. So not a speedy racing pace by any means, but that feels really good for my personal fitness level and goals and things like that. So lots of exciting things happening. Um, of course, we'll always bring you along, but just wanted to give you guys the update. Okay, so we're in store right now and I'm finding so many cute things. Just so much good denim, which is to be expected. But they also have so many cute, just like everyday pieces that aren't denim. So I'm gonna try on a few different things and see what catches my eye, but it's gonna be hard to narrow down for sure. Yeah, I don't know if I was the only person that didn't know that Paige had shoes, but they actually have some really beautiful styles, like these ones. You guys know I love a classic like flip-flop, but these are a little bit more elevated with the gold detailing, and I feel like the white would be really beautiful for summer. And then I also really love these for something a little more dressy. They feel almost vintage. Really cute. So Hello everyone, not to leave you hanging today after Paige, I want to show you what we ended up picking up but I want to style it in a really cute way because I got some really cute things. But I just did my last training for the season before the half marathon on Saturday. I'm going to try and do like a little vlog on my phone for that. It's just got me feeling all of the things my camera's blinking but I want to show you really quickly because one thing that I am struggling with right now is my legs being a little bit dry and with summer season approaching I really want to be able to sport my legs so I want to show you really quickly the routine that I'm doing I was going to show it application but I might just have to for brevity's sake show you really quickly so I've been putting retinol on my legs which sounds kind of crazy but I mean you think about taking care of your face your body is no different my legs are dry because I neglected my body care I just don't like being cold so I don't like putting lotion on right when I get out of the shower but that is all changing I am being very diligent about my body care routine so I'm just using a 1% tretinoin on my legs and then mixing it with a little bit of this 
um, the body serum because this has hyaluronic in it and I heard hyaluronic is really good for your skin too. And then what I like to do is I like to go in with this body serum by Amora Vitsa. I just went to a panel with the founder of this brand and it was really cool. Basically, their whole principle is using this scientifically backed, researched um, minerals from this hot spring and it's supposed to be really good for like collagen production and skin and he was the one who really said like we take such good care of our face skin why wouldn't we do the same for our body so they just came out with a body line and I've been using this body serum and it is so luxurious it has that like I'll put the name of it on the screen but like scientifically backed um, mineral product in it and it just smells heavenly and it's really nice the idea of using a serum for your body so I'll go retinol a little bit of the hyaluronic serum from Necessaire and then the Amoravitsa body serum and then I like to I know I like I said this is excessive so we're we're but we're on the expedited version of getting these cracked crusty legs together for summer now I'll go in with the True Botanicals. This is actually a Phyto Retinol Anti-Aging Body Lotion. I'm just starting out trying this, but so far I really like it. And all of those products are really, really light. So then I'll seal it all in with the Osea Undaria Algae Body Oil. This stuff smells... I'm actually headed downtown to the expo, which I don't know that I'm just not really diving into all of the details very much or what I don't even really know what an expo is but I know that I need to pick up my bib and so I'm meeting a girlfriend who's also running the half there and we're just gonna poke around and look around apparently one of my other girlfriends who I've been training with went yesterday and there's like booths lemon booths and things so I'm excited to just see what it's all about get some more information I might just do some work downtown since I'll already be down here so yeah, I wanted to give you guys the updates. I'm getting nervous for the half marathon, but excited. And I definitely feel like since I ran that long last week, I feel more confident that I can do it again. So that's feeling good. All right, <laughs> that's it. <laughs> I honestly had no idea that this would be like this, but they have a whole Lululemon store. It's all Lululemon branded, but then it has the marathon specific stuff on it. So you can, it's like personalized. So I'm just kind of taking it all in. I'm a little overwhelmed, um, but it's really cool. Bella, you're all set. No, I was not paying attention. No, me neither. So, <laughs> don't even worry about it. Not at all. Oh, are you talking to me? Sorry. Yeah, I was. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> We're just not synced right now. <laughs> When my girlfriend sent information for a half marathon to our group chat, I was literally like, for what? But here we are three months later. It is the day after the half marathon and I would be completely lying if I said I wasn't exhausted. My legs are sore, my toes are super bruised and sore too, but it was such a great experience. I'm actually really glad that the marathon is behind me I think as it got closer and closer I was hyping myself up a little bit in my head about it so it's nice to just have it under my belt so to speak there are definitely so many things that I learned from doing this first half marathon I thought I would share a few little tips and things that I might do different differently just in case you were considering doing one yourself the first tip is one that Sam actually heard from somebody else who had run a half marathon I had just heard this advice, you know, a couple of weeks before, maybe a week before my half marathon, but I almost wish I would have done it now. And it's trained at the time that the marathon is. I was training in the afternoon and the marathon was at like 7.20 in the morning. And so I just feel like compositionally, my body just wasn't in the same state that it would have been. And I was kind of the morning of the marathon forcing it into like rhythms that it wasn't typically used to. So I wish I would have trained earlier in the morning. And if I do decide to do another half marathon, I'll definitely do that at least 
a majority of the training time. I also was really nervous about getting enough calories into my body because I was training in the afternoon. So I had a really big breakfast. I think I had a protein shake, protein waffles, and then like a glass of electrolytes, a matcha. I just felt really full and I almost, not I almost, I did get a cramp on like mile two or three. I just don't think that I would eat as much if I went into it a second time. I also, I was thinking in my head, okay, we're training in the morning, I don't wanna be cold. So I wore a long sleeve for the marathon and long leggings and I would definitely go sports bra next time. It was supposed to be like under 70 the entire time and cloudy, so I was thinking, oh, it'll be like perfect running weather, but it was definitely hot. I had pinned my bib to my long sleeve, even though I had worn a sports bra underneath. And so I thought about stripping down to the sports bra so many times, but because I was so in my head about, you know, ripping the bib or whatever, I didn't take it off. And I was really, really hot the entire time. Another thing that I guess I didn't really realize now looking at the race in hindsight is there are so many people there and for me, it was a little bit difficult to stay in my zone, run my own race, and not be influenced by the crowd. Try as best as you can to tune out the crowd, unless that hypes and energizes you. But for me, I really needed to like be my own self coach and remind myself to keep my heart rate lower, not gas myself out in the first, you know, half of the race. And it was a little bit more difficult to do when you have all of this energy and all of these things going on around you. I know a lot of people say that that fuels them, but I found it a little bit distracting. I would just probably do a better job at like making sure that I was in my zone, running my own race essentially. Oh, another thing I did that I probably wouldn't do was in my training program, I was supposed to run 10 miles the Sunday before the race. The race was on that following Saturday. And I ended up running 13.1 miles because psychologically I just wanted to make sure that I could put those miles under my feet. But I think by the time that the race came around and I had to do 13.1 again in less than a week, I didn't have my max energy spend that I could have. And so I wish I would have just reserved those miles for race day and I think I would have done a little bit better. I mean, I'm super happy with where I finished. I wanted to finish sub 10 minute miles because when I ran that 13.1 on that Sunday during training, I was running at like a nine minute 53 second pace, which felt really good. And then come race day, I ran um, an average 10 minute 19 second mile. So a little bit slower. I definitely had to do way more walking than I anticipated. And that was another thing. I trained on the same course, like there's a greenway right next to our house and it's about three miles. And so I would just train around that for the majority of my training. It's just such a different headspace when you go into the half marathon because you're going all around the city. There's really no um, mental markers besides the like mile markers to just kind of like mentally put you in that headspace of you're almost done. So you really have to do that for yourself and if you don't it can feel like a little bit of a slog i don't know that's just maybe for me how i felt i would definitely try and do more running like just out in the city they pre-publish the trail before you actually race on race day so i would probably do more of the trail just to get a feel for it because it was a lot hillier than i expected just because i didn't know what to expect next i couldn't mentally prepare myself in the way that i would have liked to overall a really great experience i'm so glad that i did it and that it's under my belt i never would have imagined that i would have ever finished a half marathon so i'm really proud of myself definitely a little bit tired today. So I am meeting up with some girlfriends who you've met before. Um, we're trying out a new coffee shop in town that I heard has amazing matcha and we're actually going on a girl's trip to New York and so we're doing a little bit of planning and making sure that we can get all those details secured. So I don't know how much I will film of that but just wanted to sort of give you an update as always.